it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with day six of 30 inch 30 days the ink that we're using today is diamond ink vent ink vent velvet emerald this is a standard ink although I feel like it's quite sheeny for being a standard here's my original dried swatch it's got a lot of sheen on it um, but yeah so here's also the swatch card the swatch card has like some haloing like in spots where like the ink laid down a lot but I guess the text is not really very sheeny so we'll see it's a green with like that like red red violet sheen on it and I have it in my uh, Twisby e no Twisby f Twisby mini AL blue with the vine nib because yeah, and I'm actually kind of worried about it because when I was um, filling it, it kind of, like, I managed to somehow untwist the piston. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be very careful writing with this, but uh, yeah, this is, this is bending for a couple of days. Um, I'm just now filming the video, actually day of, so I'm filming it today. Got a little behind because I ended up playing video games yesterday instead of doing more ink vent. <laughs> I mean more 30 inks, but that's okay. 30, let's see, April 2024, day 6. This ink reminds me of other greens that I can't think of off the top of my head, but it reminds me of things that I've already seen and maybe already have. So I'm not really like super needing to get this. Although I think it won't be a sheeny because it's in this fine nib. It might be, it might be kind of different. Also, I noticed Moonbeam. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but from the right angle, the shimmer looks pink. It's like green from one side and pink from the other. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but yeah, I noticed that from this side angle. I see like green here and like pink here. So that's that's cool. That's interesting. That's cool. Um, got my automatic pen. Uh, yeah, we had a small little discussion or a couple comments in the um, in the comments about the paintbrush swatches versus the automatic pen swatches. And I was thinking about it. And I think when I did these, I didn't like re-dip the brush. I just made my swatch card and then used the excess, the leftovers on here. And I'm wondering if that might be why it's not as saturated because this is like a fresh filling straight from the bottle. So it has, it's gonna have more ink on it just naturally because I haven't used it on a different medium yet. Um, so we'll see. And I think uh, Marie in the comments said she wondered about maybe using the automatic pen on her swatch cards because it looks so different on the paper. But I hate the way this feels on on the on the cards. The cards are too toothy or something like that, and it feels it feels like nails on a chalkboard sounds to me. If that makes any sense. Um. This is a gorgeous green color. It's like a, it's really, it's a really cool green. Um, a, a green that I would, I would, um, Pearl is looking for birds. Sorry, you might not get a sighting. She's busy. I noticed the sh shimmer here. Oh, it's, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, it looks in my angle, in my eye, it looks pink, but on the camera, it looks green. So I'm I don't know if I can get the angle. Oh yeah, maybe on this angle it kind of looks purpley or pinky. Anyway, there we go. Man, this kind of looks like a little like insect or like a butterfly or something. Not a butterfly, but like an insect of some kind. Like there's the long like body and then there's wings. Anyway, yeah, like the little segments where the splats are. <laughs> I don't know. What do you see in the? What do you see in the splat? Um, okay, let's go ahead and uh, do this. 30 inks, 30 day, April 
I like the shading that I get, like the where it's lighter and darker. I mean, obviously that's what shading is. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. You probably already know. Um, and the pen I'm using is the Twisby Mini Blue. Those are fine pens. we do now um do i have a writing sample um i thought of a loveless lyric that i was gonna write out because it made me smile and um i've actually used it as a stream title before because it was relevant to the game i was playing but i can't remember the exact words like i remember it while i'm singing it but now that i'm trying to recall it to my memory i can't I can't. Um, happy Saturday. I need to clean, but will probably play video games all day instead. Also, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have to deal with lunch after this. Anyway, there's your little writing sample. <laughs> We've gone from the quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog to whatever stream of consciousness nonsense I feel like writing, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do our splat. Splat, splat, splat. Might also just take it some chill time from video game. I played games literally all day yesterday. One of my friends was streaming Revenant 2 and I've been helping with it a little bit and um, helped him beat the game, which was really awesome. Um, I felt a little bad because I didn't, because in co-op you can like revive your partner and um, I revived him, but he Die, like died at the same like I guess I revived him and he died at the same time at the very end of the final boss of the game and I didn't I didn't realize it until like my character was the only one in cutscenes I guess or it was like right at the like right when right when I helped beat it it was like I was I heartbroken heartbroken I have been told not to worry about it that it's fine they were just happy to play it, but I, first playthroughs are so special, and I just, I feel really bad that it didn't happen. I should have, I should have, like, made my character die so we could try it again and do it together, and I just didn't, and I have guilt about that, and I've been told not to, but I can't help it. So, even though, if the roles were reversed, the roles have been reversed, just not with this particular person. Like, I have died and was just like, no, please get it. And meant it. Like, I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I feel so bad about it, but I do. Because I feel bad about everything. Feeling bad is, like, my permanent state of being. <laughs> I feel bad about something for somebody everywhere all the time. <sighs> Misplaced guilt that I don't need to feel. Probably something there that I should talk to a therapist about but well that's not happening so anyway moving right along ink this color is very pretty oh my hair this color is very pretty like i said i like the shading i like the lighter bits i like the haloing the haloing while it's drying almost looks blue but it's actually like that reddish violet kind of color looks red but also kind of purple i'm really excited about this one Sneak peek. Not that you, I mean, you already knew. If you knew Diamond Ink, then you knew what was next, but. It's so stunning. Yeah. Cool. Here's our ink of the day. I have to, I have to do my and pages for yesterday and today, so I'm very much looking forward to doing that while I figure out lunch. 
and I will see you tomorrow with day seven of 30 Inks 30 Days. Make it through the first week. Um, yeah. Um, oh, somebody asked where I got the 3D printed things before, and I got them from Random Thinks on Instagram. I've linked them before in other videos, probably in the first couple videos of the Inkvent playlist. I have been remiss about updating my description boxes. I'm just putting the bare minimum for now. I will go back at some point and edit them to include all of the info, but um, yeah, Random Thinks. Yeah, I'll write it down. Inkvent folder from random things on Instagram. Not sure if he's selling them still or when. Here, I'll write it here too. At random. He used to offer colors and this year he made them to match the theme of the ink vents, which I think is really clever. Um, I have another set of these that I have for the ink vent from before this one, from 2022, and I just like it. It holds everything and it's amazing. So yeah, um, yeah. so check out Random Things on Instagram. Like I said, I'm not sure if he's selling them at the moment or if he only sells them around ink vent time. Um, but yeah, contact him via DM on Instagram and I'm sure he'd be able to help you out. He's really great. I've worked with him, like I said, a couple of times because I have two sets of these and yeah, he's uh, been amazing. So um, yeah, check that out. Anyway, Inkvent. Inkvent, 30 inks. Where's my bottle? I put it away. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with day seven. Take care. Bye-bye.